I was raised watching hockey, which included fighting. Yeah. It's become part of the language of hockey right. for me, part of the viewing experience of hockey. And I, I mean, and, and now I've been watching, you know, the sports shows like everybody else and seeing an incredible escalation and viciousness to the fighting that I didn't see before. I mean, those fights got vicious, but there's something added to it. Now, what's your take on fighting now? Like, in, in It's a complicated issue, obviously. And because it is so well. deep, such a big part of our deep-seated part of our tapestry, Absolutely. of cultural tapestry, not even sporting it, let alone the game. Yeah. So on, on the one hand, I'm thinking, we actually need more fighters because we need to have more character in the game. We have to draw that out. But that would require taking helmets off. That would require um, uh, getting rid of the instigator rule. Right. That would require re real reinvention of the game, and that, that's not going to happen. The fighting seemed logical because where the tensions can build, where you've got a, you know players who, who are maybe right. a little more clever at getting around the ice, that sometimes that tension peaks into uh, a Chris Pronger trying to take off Ryan go, Kessler's right? leg with a skate blade. Which is hard. I mean, that right. to me is one of the more horrifying. Sure. Chris Simon has always been right, ultra right. goon. Right. One of the more horrifying moments. I mean, but instead of, instead of, all right, we're tangling right. in the corner, let's go. There's that ugliness. That, that, Which that's I, how I it's think manifested. there's no room in hockey for that whatsoever. Unless we're going to have wild, Pure four, exciting, slap shot type fighting, we should just get rid of it. Because when it happens in the game right now, my attitude totally changed after I had children. And the kids are watching hockey and they're excited about it. And then two goons who are only in the NHL because they can scratch, and they're premeditated fights too. They talk to each other before the face off, sure. they drop their gloves, and they're pit and plastic. Yes. Uh, but those moments seem so ugly right now to me they through do the eyes of, a, of a 10 year old kid. Yeah. And I have to explain to them oh, well, this is actually just part of hockey. So we're both of two minds when it comes to the fighting. I think so.